Welcome to this special edition of Insights from the AI Lab, presented by 6.5 Media. I'm Dave Nicholson with the Futurum Group, and we're going to be talking to Seamus Jones from Dell about some testing that Signal 65 helped Dell work on, specifically in the area of RAG. Uh, RAG is Retrieval Augmented Generation. Let's talk about the variations of RAG and what the learnings were from these tests. Yeah, I mean, when, you know, we started looking at then traditional RAG, right? Where you think about it, like, instead of just asking a question, it's you're referencing uh, a, a very specific source material. Yeah. So very useful for things like law firms um, that are, you know, specializing in a specific type of law. Instead of just answering a question and a broad answer, it's going to be a very detailed question on, on that specific part of the, of the firm. The next step was really graph. Rags, and um, I mean you're you're great at these types of things, right? Mind maps, like finding the connections that exist between two what you would perceive to be unconnected items. And then the third one that we looked at within this paper was agentic, and man, agentic has been everywhere. Right. I'd say in the last two to three months. Agentic has been agentic workflows, agentic rag models. People talking about it. Yeah, and a lot, half the people don't know what agentic is or means, and truly what what it does for you know their LLMs and their and their chatbots and in their exchanges. Agentic really is you're taking that understanding and knowledge, and then having agents within the model take an action. So the best known next action. So that way, instead of just saying okay, retrieve this answer, it's more like go off and find the news set research it, develop a plan, and bring me back the most accurate develop, developed and uh, intimate plan for that, that model. You know, the most important thing that I saw out of the testing was that it gave us a 40% greater accuracy rate when you use an agentic AI workflow. The big question today still for CIOs, CTOs, everyone is, how do I save money? How do I make money with AI? Yeah. Um, okay, specifically generative AI. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, you could either train your own model and continually train and continually spend big dollars on big systems right. with GPUs, or you can use open source models and then use uh, RAG implementations to actually reference very specific data. And that's that's more realistic for most customers, right? Because yeah. you're not gonna be buying these massive clusters to deploy in your small, medium enterprise. And we're seeing that there's a huge need in the market today for inferencing, right? Inferencing is the direction that a lot of customers require now. And using these rack models means that you can you can deploy uh, scalable architectures that can go multi-node and really have linear scale, and uh, and do it in a way that's sustainable for both the environment, for the data center, whatever your architecture is, whether it's air or liquid cooled. So there's a lot of options. We're going to have a link to the paper that goes into much greater detail. But I think Seamus, you covered it uh, very very well. I'm sort of thinking of changing the name of this series to. Seamus's Toy Box. Seamus Good. Jones, great to see you again. Thanks so much. For the Futurum Group, 6.5 Media and Signal 65 Labs, I'm Dave Nicholson. Thanks for joining us. Look forward to more installments in the Insights from the AI Lab series.